Hi, and welcome to Allen High School's discussion of acid-based chemistry. We're on our third point in a titration curve calculation, and we are smack in the middle of the buffer zone. That region on a titration curve, or a buffer in general, is a solution that resists changes in pH with the addition of small amounts of acid or base. Now, I teach using the doc saves everyone method. So we start with our dilution. I am assuming that you can all do a dilution by now. So I've done that. There's our total volume. So I have got my new volume of my acid and my new volume of my base. And we're going to use that. Each step feeds into the other. So the dilution feeds into the before step of the stoichiometry. So I have 0 0.0727, 0 0.0545, and none of this. Okay? Now, a stoichiometry proceeds until the limiting runs out. And that's my limiting reagent. So we're going to add that amount over here, technically times that mole ratio, and we're going to lose from reactant. Okay, and we end up with 0 0.0182, none of this, whoops, that's a bad zero, sorry, none of this and some of this. So a buffer is a solution that has a weak and some of its conjugate. And we will talk a lot more about that in later videos. Okay, so now this feeds into our initial. So that's 0 0.182, 0 0.0545, and 0. Minus A plus A plus A. Remember, we neglect the addition and subtraction of an A, never the multiplication. So that's approximately 0 0.0182, approximately 0 0.0545, and then A. So now, when I plug that into my K expression, K A expression, I get 0 0.0545 times A. We already saw the expression in a previous video, so to save time, I'm not showing that. Those of you who like Henderson Hasselbach equation, you will notice that when I have both my acid and some of the conjugate, you could have hopped right into the Henderson-Hasselbach equation from here, okay? So if I solve this, I get it for A, I get H3O plus is equal to 4.33 times 10 to the minus sixth molar, and my pH is equal to 5.363. Okay, now I want you to notice here uh, that we have more of the, um, we still have the protonated, but we have some of the protonate, depro unprotonated, excuse me, deprotonated or unprotonated as well. And we have more of the unprotonated now because we're more than halfway to neutralizing it. We're past the 10 ml halfway mark where the protonated is equal to the deprotonated or unprotonated form. Now we're at a state where the unprotonated form is going to dominate. All right, so our next calculation is probably the hardest on a titration curve, and that's the equivalence point. So don't miss out on that one. Until then, this is signing off. Thanks.